Hi all, I'm going to um, do a little video on the time this uh, DNA frosty fibre. I've had it in my drawer for a while and just not been able to work out anything to do with it um, until yesterday when I just sat down with it and produced some of these lovely little bait fish type things. So here's how to do it. First of all we've got, I've got a, a 1-0 hook here and I've put the thread back down to just that's not even half an inch back what I'm going to now do is add a little bit of power glue right along the, the hook shank there use varnish or super glue or whatever you like the thing about this is some people find it really hard to taper and look like a bait fish that's the problem I had um, until I sat down with it yesterday and just played with it and then I worked out how to do it so we take a, a full length of that, like so, and we just cut that. So we have a full length like that, and what we need to do is hold it between thumb and forefinger and just tease out some fibres at the back quite long, and then again just tease them out, not quite as much as the bottom one and then that gives you your taper so we do that we turn that over we lay that down on the hook and we tie it up to just before the eye you'll see the reason for that shortly um, I'm not going to put a lateral line or any flash through this because I'm going to put some red DNA hollow fusion just under there as gill flash. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fold that back, split it over the hook eye, to fold that back and over the hook because of course the other end's tapered as well. And we're just going to tie that down there. It's a very quick and simple fly to do looks really good as well okay so I'm now going to take a little bit of you don't need much of this this red and just measure it up to where you want your gill flash and how big you want your gill flash again same thing with that if you want to taper it just pull the pull some of the fibers okay and we just go just under there like so, fold back, look down like so, that's a nice little bit of red for the gill flash there. Now we're going to go on to the, to the olive for the back and take a nice clump like this. Quite a fin bait fish. And again, how we do it, if you can see that, is pull, 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 till you get that lovely taper like that. And then we'll lay that on the back, exactly the same length as your bottom piece, and we'll spin that around. And what we'll do is just fold one section back and wrap it down. Then the next section all the way to the hook eye. And whip that down. Okay, so that's pretty much that bit done. Don't worry about this bit sticking up, this will be sorted in a second. I'm going to take my lighter, always a good trick, and just heat that up a little bit. You see that's flattened down now by adding that little bit of heat to that. It's calmed it down 
Lovely. Okay, now we'll take a couple of eyes. I'm going to use um, red, I think, for these. So we'll take a couple of those. And these are gator eyes, of course, from Deer Creek. Lovely things. And we're just going to put one on top and push it down to hold it. And turn it over. Exactly the same place. And squeeze it down to hold into position. Okay, so we're going to get a diamond hard UV resin. And what I'm going to do is get in from the top and just dab a little bit of that on, like so. And just zap that. Now what I'm going to do is drop some in just behind that eye, like so. You only need a couple of seconds with this. Because all you're basically doing with this is you're just really holding it in place. So, and I'm now just going to cover the eye. Like so. Couple of seconds. And underneath, a couple of seconds, and on top, I've just spotted a loose thread there, so I can just cut that off. I'm just going to a tiny little bit more in there. Oops. Just fill that gap. And there you go, as easy as that, attack free bait fish tied with DNA frosty fiber. Yep. Hope that was useful. Cheers.